You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather, coverage you can count on. Well, temps are in the triple digits again. Here's a live look over Butte County. Gosh, it looks beautiful outside. It looks like a great day to go out in the woods, go for a walk, go for a hike. But I would not advise that no. to anybody, at least not in the lower elevations right now. Right. right, Howie? What about one of those ice tops about now, Haley? <laughs> yeah, maybe like a cold plunge. That sounds great. <laughs> I would take one today for sure as temperatures again for the second day in a row into the triple digits as we're halfway through our second mini heat wave of the season. Okay, so here is our Jarbo Gap shot. That's in Butte County. That's looking off towards the south. Absolutely beautiful. Unless you were out there, I guess, without water and food. All right, here's what we got for overnight tonight. I'm going to go with uncomfortable because as we drop down into the mid-70s, that's only going to be for a short period of time. So we'll be on the very warm side. So dangerous heat today, dangerous heat again tomorrow, but we are looking at a cool down. We'll start off in the North Mountains on the, North Mountains on the Coastal Range. That cool down does not start tomorrow as we get right near 100 degrees up in those higher elevations. And then for the Sierra and the Cascades a little bit better, but still warming into the mid 90s. Let's go down to the ridge, the foothills. We're not looking at any relief there tomorrow either. We're some spots right around 100 degrees. Okay, so for the North Valley, temperatures, yes, on the warm side, but then we stay above average by more than 15 degrees again tomorrow with excessive heat warnings. And the same applies for the Mid Valley, a warm night tonight and another scorcher here with temperatures, uh, with triple digit temperatures for the third day in a row. All right, so why is all this happening? Because high pressure has been unleashed once again, keeping us warm, shutting off that sea breeze out of the Delta. But what's gonna happen is that high pressure is weakening and a move off. It's gonna allow for that Delta breeze, that cooler, moist Pacific Ocean air to start flowing into the area again and dropping down that 100 degree plus temperatures or temperatures that we've been seeing. So we'll slowly start to drop down into the mid to upper 90s, eventually the low 90s, and maybe by next week into the upper 80s, pretty much where we're supposed to be, about 89, 90, or 91. So yes, looking at a nice little cool down. So our third mini heat, our third heat wave for that matter, is gonna have to wait for a little while as we're not seeing it in our very near future. Here's what we got for Wednesday, another scorcher at 104, but then you saw the sea breeze starting to deliver that cooler ocean air. We start to drop down, look by Saturday and Sunday into the lower 90s, maybe by next week into the upper 80s, and the same applies for Reading, a scorcher tomorrow, but then a gradual or slow steady cool down as we make our way back to average and nice comfortable temperatures around 90 degrees, but the good news is our third heat wave doesn't look to be arriving anytime soon. That sounds great. I'm fine with the 90s. Yeah, Thanks, Howie. I'll take it. For 